story by Martin, where flood victims in Tana River County are accusing the government of neglecting them in their camps without food, clean water, sanitation, and other basic amenities. Some of the victims have been forced to share tents with other families as they're not enough for the thousands for displaced families. Martin Mwangi has the details. Tina Delta in Tana River County continues to enjoy the nature's wrath, with villages increasingly being submerged in flood waters after the gates of the Seven Fox Dams were opened to allow for the flow of the excess water. Over 7,800 families displaced by the floods are being accommodated in various camps within the county. They say that life has become unbearable and no humanitarian aid has reached them. Basic hygiene including clean water, toilets and medical services are also missing. Fear of an outbreak of waterborne diseases is rife. Several families are also being forced to share one tent. Tens of schools have also been marooned by the waters and roads cut off making it impossible for their children to resume learning. In Kirinyaga County, the body of a Kirinyaga University student who drowned in the heavily flooded Ziba River has been found. The student, identified as Lawi Kipto, was found floating in the water at Ngubada village in Moya East sub-county, bringing to an end the two-day search. Elsewhere, after three days of search for the three people who were buried in a landslide in Matavia, Kemende, Kambu County, their bodies have finally been found. The search operation had been suspended following heavy rains in the area. Martin Mwangi, NTV.